This video will demonstrate how to use the naive base clustering method of the micro toolbox. Naive base clustering is a technique which lets us break down an image into a discrete number of different clusters based on the color of the image. Unlike RNL clustering, with this method we need to know exactly how many clusters we expect to have and we need to know the mean level of each color channel and the standard deviation of each color channel uh, before the clustering can work. As an example of an input image here I have a burnet moth I photographed. This is a linear normalized image being shown in color. Um, you could also use the um, linear normalized image shown as a stack or a cone catch image. Uh, just an image you can take measurements from. And this burnet moth is, is a good example because it has quite clear discrete types of color. Now to start with I need to measure the different color patches. So first I'll select this black region and I'll just press A on my keyboard to save that as A1. Next I'll select a bit of this red and I'll call that B, pressing B on my keyboard. And next I'll select some of this cream color. These selections don't need to be exact, they just need to be representative of the uh, average colors. Um, and you'll get quite different effects if you make different selections. And finally, I need to um, compare the, the moth to its background, so I also need to measure the background. So I'll make a measurement which includes various background levels. Call that one D. So here we have four selections on the image um, which relate to the four different cluster clusters that we want. Next I just need to press R on my keyboard to measure all of these ROIs. And here you can see it's measured the mean and standard deviation of each of these uh, linear normalized color channels in the image and it's called them um, A, B, C, D. Next all I need to do is go plugins, measure, and naive base classify and that's it it will take the this image and this results table uh, to break down the image into different clusters so for every pixel it will look at the the level of red green and blue in each pixel and based on the means and standard deviations here it will use the Bayes rule to decide which um, distribution that pixel is most likely to come from and here are the results so if we compare it to the original, you can see it's done a pretty good job of deciding the difference between the red and black and cream regions. Uh, it's made a few errors, for example. It's classified this as the background. And so you can tell how it's been classified because of the different numbers. Um, here, the first one is the black, so that will have a number of one in this image. And if I hover my mouse over here, you can see in the ImageJ status bar that the black has been classed as 1, the red is being classed as 2, the cream is 3, and the background is 4. So it's classified this bit of cream wing as 4, so that's not ideal. But in most places, it's done a very good job. And you can play around with the measurements that you make and the area selections to improve the result. And this gives you information, for example, of the pixel coverage of the different cluster types. So you can work out from these numbers, for example, what the uh, average averages are or the, the relative proportions of different uh, cluster types. You can also use uh, this image for um, doing the QCPA adjacency analyses and things like that. 